Hey guys, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Due to it being the Virtual Rider Cup against uh, Europe and USA, which has been contested in quite a good few YouTube channels, Tim Wilson, Molly Mank, um, I've not seen anyone else live stream anything, but um, I'm hooked on watching it guys, just unfortunately I could not commit to it. The, the time schedules the guys were wanting to play games just didn't suit me. Um, so I have had a subscriber message me to take him on Challenges Ghost Ball at Leg Golf National. Um, it is a course I've actually never ever had the pleasure of playing. Um, a few of the guys who I've seen have been ripping it up. A few of them have been struggling. It looks a, it looks a tough but fair course. So I am going to take on, I think it's Leroy is his proper name. Um, I will accept his challenge. Um, no idea how I'm going to play, guys. My swing tempo seems to be a hit or a miss at the moment. So Leroy has played off the white tees, which is the second longest, and pin set number four. So let's begin Ryan, but welcome to stream, guys. Hey, Phil, welcome on board, pal. Hope you're well. Uh, thanks for all your messages, by the way, Phil. But welcome to stream, everyone. It's absolutely miserable here in Scotland at the moment. So, like I say, guys, I have never played this course. I've been watching a few of the guys on the Ryder Cup playing it. But yeah, thanks Phil, that was much appreciated. Um, really appreciate it, guys. So hopefully this doesn't crash on me, guys, because I will be honest, um, I fired up the game about 20 minutes ago, I went to the driving range, and lo and behold, after about five, six drives, I got an error report. So... I've not selected match play, by the way, guys, because that just constantly crashes on me. We will just keep the scores manually. And why? What a drive that is from Leroy, who I can only assume is using the tour clubs. Outstanding effort there. I hope you guys, if you are watching the Virtual Rider Cup, are enjoying it as much as I am. I've managed to watch two games. Tim and Mally Manx. And it was absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Hey, Highland Wolf. Stay out of the rough, yeah. Are you in the Virtual Rider Cup, Highland Wolf? Who are you representing, mate? It'd be great to see more games being live streamed. So Leroy's played a decent shot. This pin selection here looks absolutely brutal, by the way. 89 yards. What are the greens, by the way, guys? I forgot to check. Are they fast? Firm? Right, fairways are firm, greens are normal. But thanks for stopping by the stream again, as usual, guys. It's much appreciated. Um, let's go with that. I'm hoping the wind's going to help me out here, because this ball is going to shoot to the left. It's a good strike. The wind is taking me round. Quite a bit short there, to be fair. Highland Wolves are European, so well done, mate. Am I right in saying, the last time I seen the score, it was four and a half to Europe, and USA had two and a half. It could have all changed. That was just on Tim's one that I had seen. So 30 feet, 2 inches down, breaking to the left. 160 greens. Oh, boom, and what a putt I've sunk there. And that puts me one under. And that will put me one up against one Leroy because he got a par. Leroy shot quite a good score here from what I've seen some of the guys achieve. Um, 
But thanks to Leroy for getting in touch with me. I think he's a Jamaican going by his uh, nationality flag. He's played a great shot there. Look at that, guys, from Leroy. Why? Probably left himself about eight, nine feet. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gutted I couldn't commit to it, guys. The time frame that they were wanting the games played, I couldn't commit. But probably the vein of form I'm in just now. It's hot and cold. Um, I don't know how I would have uh, performed. So we've got 195 yards into the wind. Just going to take a tiny bit off of this. Another perfect, perfect. Looks like this is a beauty. It's going to be long. It's not going to bite as quick as I would have liked. So great approach shot from Leroy there. Three and a half, seven and a half to the Europeans, mate. Ah, fantastic. Had total faith in you guys. Total faith. 17 feet, one foot down. That's a very tricky putt. And that is going to keep travelling by the way. That was a really tough putt to judge. Should leave me a five, six foot putt for part. Five footer here, nothing too bad. Five footer. Leroy got his birdie, so it's back to an all square game. And hey, Mad Ammo. The all the way from LA. Welcome back to the stream, buddy. I hope you're fine. Great to see so many regular people in the stream, guys. It always means a lot to me. Got an 8 mile per hour wind, great drive from Leroy again. Looks like the fairway sloping off to the right. Oh, and that's a slow, but I should get away with that. I did kind of push it to the, the left slightly. So either Leroy is on the tour clubs or he's got a huge wind advantage. I would say he was probably on the, the player clubs, to be fair, guys, and he just has a superior wind. Because he has hit that green in two, and I have got no chance of hitting this green in two. So that is a fantastic shot again from Leroy. He's going to leave himself an opportunity for a birdie. Why is my club coming back all at sell there? But the, the Ryder Cup has been such an entertaining watch, guys. I've really enjoyed watching it. And I'm going to be in the rough unless I get a nice bounce. Oh, I got an awful bounce. I'm surprised that ball went so far left there, to be fair. Um, so I'm going to have to take a little bit off of this, guys. And maybe another bit, because I really don't want to be short here. And this should be pretty good, actually. Oh, I'm going to find that slope. So that wasn't the best of shots. So Leroy's got his eagle putt, I feel. Hey, Jamie Stevens, really like watching you play. I've learned a few things. I made three courses, check them out sometime. Razorback Links, High Wassie Hills, Branchwood, BVR. Thanks, Jamie. I really appreciate that, mate. And I will definitely check your courses out, buddy. I'm always looking for courses to play and review. So thanks very much for that, Jamie. Always good. I'm not, I can't recall seeing Jamie in the chat before. So welcome to the, the madhouse, mate. 33 feet, one foot up. Is it going to turn? Oh, it's a good putt. I think probably just it's just going to be a par for me. Yeah, I've got no idea what Leroy shot here. It looks like he's got a par as well. He stays one under. So we both just get pars there, guys. I was disappointed with my second shot went so far left into the rough. So it's a level par, all square game. Both one under been great fun playing it quite nerve-wracking I bet he, do you know what Highland Wolf I bet it is nerve-wracking I was watching Tim and he was so tense and animated 
which it's a great watch it really is I mean like I say I'm just disappointed I, I couldn't commit to it but to be fair um, the form I'm in at the moment I probably wouldn't have been a valuable member probably better options than me just now there's a perfect perfect should be banging at the centre of the fairway beside Leroy. But yeah, from what I've noticed, guys, you must hit fairway in this course. Hey, Tim, there he is. Talk of the, talk of the devil, guys. There's our Ryder Cup hero. So Leroy's played, once again, a decent shot, guys. I think he's just caught that slope, though. So the greens are quite brutal. So 162 yards. Let's say it's playing 167. Into the wind. These pins are really, really tough. This pin. Have you guys played this pin selection for Tim? I would imagine you'll play all pin selections. I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna reset that. I'm going to go with that. I certainly don't want to be too far right here. It's a perfect, perfect strike. The wind's taking me around nice. The wind didn't take me around as much as I would have liked there, guys. So I'm just going to trickle off into the, the light rough. Sometimes the wind just does nothing. Sometimes it's it's stronger. I just checked up a bit more than I wanted. Yeah, that's what I'm on here then, Tim. This is what I'm on. They're tough, eh? Uh, tough pin selection. So I think I've got this putt for the for the hole here, guys. So that is going to put me back to one up against Leroy, who I think has unfortunately got a bogey there. He has. That is going to take him back to level par. So I am one up. But I tell you what, guys, it's been an absolutely outstanding watch. It really, really has. What the hell has Leroy done here? That is some shot from him. Oh my lord, look at that tee shot from Leroy, guys. I take it he's used the, the rough and bounced on. I'm actually going to maybe try and follow suit here and see if we can get a Tim Wilson. Looks like Leroy certainly knows this course. I'm hoping to kick out of this rough here. It's gonna get rough. Looks like I'm going to be okay. Should hold up. So happy with that. I have noticed a few of the guys doing that in the course. Easier was ah okay, mate. But we're all rooting for Tim and the guys, Malster. All rooting for Team Europe. So that is a great shot again from Leroy, who I presume is going to get his birdie here. 75 yards, 3 feet up. I'm just going to take a tiny bit off of this. I'm playing on a slight slope here. It's a great strike. Should be all over this, I would imagine. And look at that, we're banging, we've gotten closer than Leroy, so it looks like this hole probably going to be halved. Oh, Leroy has missed his birdie putt by quite a fair bit there, guys, I'm quite surprised at that. Really surprised at that, actually. So, I take my birdie putt again, and I have now went two up against Leroy. So that puts me two under through five, not bad. I've not heard anything about that, Phil. I mean, I don't really pay attention to the 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 golf club tours, mate. It's a thing I've never, 
from what I've heard, I just recall Tim and the guy saying it's just ridiculously serious, brutal. <clears throat> Can I make over this bunker? No problem whatsoever. One thing I've noticed is Leroy, <clears throat> pardon me guys, is absolutely excellent off the tee box. And I can only assume that it must be nerve-wracking for these guys playing in the Virtual Rider Cup. Every shot looks intense. And Leroy's definitely either on the Tour Clubs guys or he's got a huge, huge wind advantage over me here. Because he always seems to be way past my drives. And he's once again, Leroy's zeroed in. The only thing that's been letting Leroy down is his pattern. So up 13 feet. So I'm actually going to just check that up a tiny bit here guys, I'm going to reset that, just a tiny bit, because I am on an upslope. It's a good strike, might be a bit short to be fair, yeah it is, so Leroy's inside of me here. Oh, Leroy's missed that seven footer again, guys. Really, really surprised at that. So I've got a 12 foot putt breaking minimally to the left. I think I've actually got the easier putt than Leroy here. Oh, why, what has happened there? What on earth has happened there? Oh, wow, guys. So I've clearly been given a huge phantom break there. That is absolutely ridiculous again. This is what frustrates me about this game. Probably best that I'm not playing in the Ryder Cup, guys, and I'm relying on reads like that. So absolutely insane, to be fair. So I've now got this six-foot putt here for a half. Which I managed to get, but that, that, this game concerns me so often, guys. I just get so many crazy things happen to me on the game. It is absolutely insane. So I remain two up. Got an eight mile per hour wind here. Leroy must be using the tour clubs. He must be. I can't even consider taking that on, and I know that he's in the rough here. So I am just looking to bang this one iron down the fairway. It's a great strike. And that should be bang in the center off the fairway because I have fully lofted that one iron up. And that is going to be nice. And Do you, Phil? That's really interesting to know because a few people will have actually said that. So Leroy has just missed the green there. So 172 yards, 36 nine. He's playing, let's say, 169 into the window I do feel this should get there it's another good strike this one's looking good bang on yardage and I think that slope that said it was green put my ball a lot more left than what it said because a 9 mile player win wouldn't have done that Leroy's chipped on he's played a good shot so I've got a 20 foot putt 3 inches up had a great weight there just didn't read the line as good as I should have and that's just going to be a tap in, four and a half, so I remain two up. Really enjoying this course, guys. Like I say, this is the first time I've played it. It's a challenging but fair course. 
Is there a big difference between the two then, Phil? Is it just because of the controllers? I, do you know what, Jamie? I'm not. I, I don't know. I don't mind the mechanics of the game. It's just that the mechanics of the game don't work a lot of the time. Um, I do see your your point with the the putt meter, though. But I guess it's about getting a feel for the game and muscle memory and things like that. So 177 yards. Let's say it's playing 175. I do have a strong wind in my favour here. I'm going to put my faith in the wind here, guys, and let it carry me the distance. Hopefully it does. It's a good strike once again. Heading for the, the wind's helped me out here big time, and this should be bang on. Oh, it's a good shot, just didn't bite. Leroy's played an absolute fantastic shot. Also, yeah, that's a fair point there, Phil. That's a fair point. So it's a great birdie from, from Leroy, who has shot a good round on this, guys, going by some of the scores I've seen on the Ryder Cup so far. So I now just need this putt for a half. He's really read that putt well. 12 foot, 3 inches down this. This is a tough read. Oh, and I've read it well, and I do get a half, and I stay two up. Three under, for the round. Three under for the round. So far, so good. Let's move on to hole nine, All right, you're gonna which is a par five, and I now have a wind advantage this time. Once again, Leroy is hitting fairways with ease. Certainly keeps the pressure on me, gentlemen. It's another perfect, perfect space bar straight. And yeah, I'm I'm convinced that Leroy must be using the tour clubs, guys. He must be, because I had a strong wind advantage there. Hey, Steel Bean, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, we've got a few of the Ryder Cup heroes in here. We've got Highland Wolf and Tim, who are both representing Team Europe. And I feel I can attack this. I'm actually going to go for it here, guys. Good strike, it should run up onto the green, and I fully anticipate this to be not too far. Just going to be short of that slope. It is going to give me a putt for eagle, and I think Tim had a similar shot on here, and he lagged it up really well if I'm right on the Ryder Cup. I think he left his putt within about one foot, and oh Jesus, this is a tough putt. Oh, what a putt that is from Leroy. I take my hat off to Leroy. Because I am now regretting. Like I say, I have not played this course before, guys. So I had no idea that the green was as severe as this. So I've got a 54 feet putt, one foot up. Breaking hard to the right. This is absolutely insane. If I could get that within, uh, and it's going to be nowhere near, it might even come all the way off the green here. Wow, insane putt. Looking at a 19 foot putt from here. How have they had a, a, who's been disqualified, Tim? Who's been disqualified, mate? I have just got this putt here for a half now, guys, but the, the thing is, it looks dead. Dead straight. Oh, it didn't turn. It said it was going to turn, so 
I am dropping a point here, and we are going to be back to one up. So, I get pulled back there, guys. I drop a shot on hindsight. If I played the course before, I would never have took that second approach shot on. I'm still one up. Leroy's playing well. Hey, a oh, probable cause. Welcome, mate. Ah, oh, no way, Tim. So what you mean is he's played two or three rounds and and showcased his best round. Ah, oh, wow, man, that must be so frustrating for you guys. Wow, that's a bit of a shame. You expect people to be legitimate in these kind of events. And there's my first slow of the day, and it could be bad for me. No, I'm okay. I am okay. Ah, uh, that's bad, mate. That is bad. And it looks like we have 100 yards. So 102 yards. Let's say it's playing 106 into the wind. Leroy's played a good shot. Probably about 11 feet away. Let's see if I can get inside that. I'm just going to take a tiny bit off of this, guys, due to the wind. Oh, it's another slow. And that is going to go right... I was bang on with my yardage there too, guys, but with that slow, it's put me about six, seven, eight feet to the right. Oh, and Leroy just misses his birdie putt there, so I do have a putt here, guys, to go two up again. And I take it, so I do get my two up back, and that is going to put me to four under for the round. Let's move on to hole 11. But yeah, I'm really disappointed to hear that, guys, if that's the case. Obviously, I'm not wanting to jump to conclusions. Oh, Leroy's missed the, the green. Oh, why, this is a tough pin. But from what I see, if I'm long, I might come back off of that slope. And it looks like this slope is going to take you back to the green here. I'm just actually going to have a practice swing here, guys, because my tempo the last few shots. There's a perfect, perfect. There's two perfect, perfects. Let's go with that. Do you expect this to be quite good here, guys? Good. Oh, that is going to get me a tap in, birdie. Fantastic shot there. Oh, has Leroy chipped in? No, so I am now three up here, guys. Going along nicely. Five under. Let's move on to hole 12. Another reason for this is I want to hold a world match play. Just to let you know about the society, guys, I think I've came to the decision now. I was going to do this in another video. I will probably no longer be continuing with the Hackers Paradise events. Season 1's finished, I think, or almost finished. There's just too many guys cheating. There's people manipulating their handicaps. Um, there's a lot of things where I cannot see ghost balls now. I cannot add players to a group to get their ghost balls because they've hid their, their settings. Um, so for the meantime, guys, I have got no interest in playing events because it's just full of cheats, unfortunately. 
unless uh, HB Studios fix their shit, which I've got no confidence in doing actually, they can't even fix the game, so I've let alone for them adding any hope for them adding these extra. So for the meantime guys, it's just going to be course reviews and the odd match play for me, I'm afraid. Um, but by all means stay, don't leave the Hackers Paradise Society, um, I will get it going again if they do fix their game. Oh, I put a slow on that and I could be crucified here. Might go a bit more right. No, I'm okay. Perfectly fine. And I can only assume that Leroy is using the Tour Clubs, guys. So, huge advantage to him. But that does sound excellent, that felt. A match play series. 89 yards. 3, 6, 9. It's playing 90. Let's say it's playing 92 yards. Into the wind. That's a fantastic shot from Leroy again. And there's another slow guy, so I, you are seeing that the slow is creeping into my game quite badly here. And that is way short. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the handicaps, Jamie, because I'm consistently shooting under par on tough courses, and my handicap's getting worse. So, I, I, I just don't, I really don't understand it. 18 feet, down 5 inches. I do have this putt for the hole here, guys. Oh, and I'll tell you what, that is a bad putt, because I have put that 11, 12 feet past. I'm not focusing here. So I have now just got this for the half to stay at two up. Should turn. I do manage to get that. Disappointed I missed that birdie putt there though, guys. So I just want to make sure I went one up. It's all square. One up, two up. One up, two up. Oh, I am free up, sorry guys, I am free up, still free up, free up with five holes to play, a nine mile per hour wind into my face this time, and I certainly do not want a slow here, it's going to fully loft this up. There's a perfect, perfect, and with the wind taking me round, this should be absolutely flawless. And I'm side by side with Leroy. Okay, we have about 130 yards, I'd say. Yeah, I think so, Steel Bean, but it's just the, the handicap system doesn't work. But when you're getting people manipulating their handicaps, so when I'm trying to make things fair, and keep it handicapped events. Um, it's not fair because people are cheating the system. So Leroy's failed to hit the green here. Oh, that was... What the hell? My club didn't even come back there. No, it's went really laggy now, guys. That was so laggy, it was frightening. Beauty. That's going to be bang on for distance. The six mile per hour wind just didn't take me round at right, all. Here. Do you have a putt for a birdie here? It's breaking both ways. Just going to favour that side. I do have that for the hole. Oh, and that's another birdie putt, guys. It truly lips out. All right, nice little two -foot oh, Leroy's missed. So that is going to put me four up. Leroy's putting, guys, as you can see, really lets him down. 
So I am now staying at five under, guys. A few better putts, and I could be six, seven under easy. For the first time playing this course, I'm absolutely delighted. I've managed, hey, hey, Rich, I've managed to manipulate my handicap up by playing this godforsaken course. I'm actually enjoying the course, mate. Um, it's the first time I've played it, but well done, uh, Rich. Uh, keep going, mate. You're a good player. Hopefully, USA can make more of a contest off it. <laughs> but uh, Team Europe are, are doing really well, guys. They are doing really well. They've got a strong team there. But um, I'm really looking forward to the singles. I do think that's going to maybe swing it in America's favour. Um, because at the moment, from what I've seen, you're getting one player playing well for one team and the other guy's struggling. Um, but that's what, that's what it's all about, to be fair. It's been so entertaining to watch, guys. And oh, what a shot from Leroy. And I'm just going to have to probably take this on here, guys. And I just could not make it. It's probably going to be a little chip shot out, though. Don't want to go past the flag here. Quite good, quite a good shot. It's going to give me a birdie opportunity. Looks like Leroy's going to get his. Here. Too scary. Now this is saying once again, guys, that it's really straight. I have to say, I do agree with this one. The last break I had. Oh, come on. So guys, you're see this game is killing me. That red, truly straight again, so two phantom breaks in the same round has really killed me here. That should have been a stonewall birdie. It's only going to be a par, and it is going to cost me a, a hole there, so I go back to three up with four to play. But that is sickening, guys, when this shit keeps happening to me. Yeah, do you know what, Jamie? I am getting fed up of it, mate. It's... You guys must see, I watch all these guys in the Ryder Cup and these guys don't have these issues. I just, that's two putts I've had in the same round that have said they were flawlessly straight. And it's proven it's not, and it's kind of frustrating guys. What can I do, do you know what I mean? You're putting your faith in the game, if I wanted no aids golf on, I would take it off. But that is kind of concerning. It kind of, it sickens you. It's sickened yet. So and I'm probably going to be beside Leroy in the rough here unless I get a nice kick. I have got a nice kick. I do feel I should be about 7, 8 under here, guys, if the game is fucking being fair to me, but it's not. It did look flawlessly. That looked straight there, old Rich. Um, that looked really straight. Take a breath. I'm not. I'm not hyped up, guys. I'm not hyped up. Yeah, that that was one of the worst Highland Wolf. I, I actually got down over that part and it said it was straight. What can you do, guys? As long as I, that doesn't happen to any of the Europeans tonight, I'm more than happy for it to happen to the... the Americans. <laughs> Just for the Ryder Cup. So we've got 72 yards, 3 feet down, so, oh, this is quite in between. Oh, this is quite a tough one, guys. Going to go with that. Put a, put a slow on that. It should be decent. 
despite the slow, it's very good outcome, and hopefully I do not get a, a bad read here. This is to go back four up, and I do presume it is for the match. Oh, it went round the houses. Six under for the round. So, guys, that is the, the match concluded, but I will finish out the round. Six under. Let's move on to hole 16. So it is a par three. Leroy looks like he's played a great shot. I take my hats off to Leroy and I just want to thank him for for watching my videos and for sending me the challenge. So 137 yards. Say it's playing one one thirty five. It's quite a strong wind. Just gonna take a bit off of this here, guys. Oh, it's another slow. Looks like this is a beauty. Ah, and I was going to be bang on there too. If I didn't put a slow in that, that was going to be bang on. on the green with much work to do. <laughs> I wish I could steal being. I really wish I could, mate. Leroy's pattern again just kind of lets him down. So 17 foot pat, breaking slightly to the right. Oh, what a putt that is. So, the game is a foregone conclusion, guys. So, that is going to move me to 7 under, which could have been so much better, guys. I do realistically feel I could have been at least 9 or 10 under at the moment. For my first time playing this course, I'm absolutely delighted with how things have went so far. Once again, Leroy has had a flawless drive. I have not been in the rough yet, which is a good thing. And can I... This is quite a tough hole. Leroy's actually... Three wood. I'm going to revert to the one iron here, guys. I'm just going to loft that up. Oh, it's a laggy backswing again. It's another slow, but I do feel I've got enough fairway to work with here. Got a nice bounce. It is going to be a long second of shot. So what either doing is playing easy official on red tees and they're constantly over. Yeah, it, it makes you sick, Phil, to be honest. I mean, I don't get it why people would want to do that, you know. So, I have got a huge, huge shot here, guys. I'm just looking to bump. Bump this onto the green, to be fair. Good strike. With a nice bounce, this could be quite good. Go on, ball. Let's find a slope there, guys. Wow, it really find a slope. And I do presume this is going to be a tough putt. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I do like green tea, guys. I do really like green teas. And I'm getting a lot of course challenges notifications that have completed 18 foot pat breaking slightly to the right oh it's another pat that just trickles right, wide two foot pat get well, the part let's move on to the final hole guys Yeah, Rich, you're 100% right, mate. I mean, uh, why would you want that, you know? Why would you want that? Because you're just going to get persecuted. It's another flawless drive from uh, Leroy.
should be bang in the centre of the fairway. Way behind Leroy. At least we're on there and on the playing surface. See this modded controllers though, Jamie? How can you mod a controller? I, I don't get this. I fully understand the spacebar scenario, but I cannot see how you can mod a controller for this game specifically. I just, I don't get that one to be fair. It's a great strike. This should be all over this. This should be... Oh, no, I'm going to be a bit short. I'm a bit short there, guys. Yeah, I totally agree there, Phil. Yeah, I just don't understand how... I, I do understand there is achievement, isn't there, guys? There is an achievement where you've got to get your handicap to a plus 10, which I do understand where, where guys are maybe going to... I think it's... Someone said what course it is to play. Is it Yuma? Desert Yuma or something? I, I can't recall, but... Um, I do fully understand that one. And I'm just... just short and left with that. Three feet to the hole here. You can replace the analog stick. How'd you do that? Wow, man. I mean, why go to that? Why go to that extremities to um, to do that? So, well, course challenge completed. No hazard hole. Course challenge completed. First round. I'm going to give that a five star, guys. That is an absolutely outstanding course. I will be favourite in it. That is it for today's stream, guys. Thanks to everyone who hung out. As always, it's really, really appreciated. I'm really happy with my 7 under and the win on match play. Um, if all you guys in the live stream could really do me a favour and spam that like button for me at the moment. Um, for those of you watching this later on on YouTube, um, please hit the like button. It always helps me out and it keeps me coming back to produce content for you guys. Also, if anyone's got a, a ghost ball that would like me to challenge please say so in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. That is it for today, guys. Thanks to everyone who came in the, the live stream. Jamie Stevens, nice to see you here, mate. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, buddy. And that is it for today, guys. As always, I will see you soon. Uh, due to my football commitments over the weekend, I will not be uploading over the weekend. But um, good luck to the Europeans and the Americans in the Ryder Cup tonight. Um, hopefully Team Europe can keep going well for the for the side and hopefully we see plenty blue on that scorecard. Um, take care guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye.